WGBF 25 News Exclusive. A new firearms policy taking effect tonight at the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. Good evening. I'm Felicia Rodriguez. And good evening, everyone. I'm Paula Grohl in for Tom McDermott tonight. Everyone in the Sheriff's Office who carries a gun from now on will have to report themselves and call a supervisor to the scene anytime they point a gun at a person. Investigative reporter Terry Parker obtained a copy of the new directive and spoke to the sheriff about the change. And Terry, not everyone's happy about it. Exactly. When the supervisor is called to the scene where someone has pointed a gun, they will collect evidence and then file a report that is reviewed all the way up the chain of command. The sheriff says it's better record keeping and in line with nat new national standards, but some who work here are concerned. Starting immediately, there is a new rule for all sheriff's office employees who point their gun at someone. The new directive, obtained exclusively by WPBF 25 News, came in an email from Internal Affairs. It says, Effective immediately, any sworn personnel who points a firearm, handgun, shotgun, rifle, at an individual in the course of their duties or if off duty, shall make an immediate notification to an on duty supervisor for documentation. The directive doesn't apply to pulling a gun, only to pointing it at a person. We talked by phone to police union president John Kazanjian about why the sheriff is now documenting every gunpoint. I firmly believe because all the scrutiny out there that the, uh, the police are getting from uh, the public that we, that we see too many people. Sheriff Rick Bradshaw says that's not the reason. I mean, you could use it and say, well, they, you know, they pulled their guns, you know, a thousand times and they've only had to shoot somebody once. But I mean, that's, you know. I mean, I don't know why you would do that analysis. Bradshaw says they've always written it up in incident reports when someone points their gun. And this is just a better way to compile statistics into the system and to ensure best practices. But because the reports will be filed with internal affairs, some are worried if they work in a high crime area, they'll be labeled as, quote, gun happy cops. Bradshaw says that's ridiculous. It's not going to make them look bad. How's it going to make them look bad? They're doing their job. And Union President Kazanjian also tells me that he's also concerned about people on the SWAT team and similar units who might have to do these raids all the time and have all of these reports in their files. But he says the sheriff has agreed that those type of raids will file one blanket report. He also said the sheriff says after about two months, he will reassess the new policy. Live at the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, I'm Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.